Bill says, let's get the show on the road. Get the camera off of me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The hornswoggle's ringing. Of course, I am joined up here with my guest host, Elmo. Elmo says, yay! Ha, <laughs> Elmo, aren't we happy? The corporate courtroom season has ended and the hornswoggle era has begun. Yay! Why am I here again? Because I have to ask you, why did you attack Edge on the final episode of the corporate courtroom season one? Well, Hornswoggle, there's a lot of reasons. He was too boring, he talked too slow, he made me mad, and I had to give him a beat down. So that's why I broke his neck. Yeah, that's right, guys. Uh, we forgot to tell you that John Cena broke Edge's neck, so now, of course, Edge is now added to the list of all the superstars who have been injured. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm leaving. All right, John, no one cares about you anyways. So anyways, let's go down to you. Why are you even here? Why You you are on every episode of The Corporate Courtroom and Hornswoggle's Ring. Can't you just leave? Eh, chico, I'm just happy to be the double champion. Well, you're not the only double champion anymore. You know, Daniel Bryan's the tag team champion and the WWF champion. Eh, chico, but he's not the undisputed United States Intercontinental Champion like me. Whatever. And why are you even here? I didn't even invite you onto the show. Elmo says you're trespassing. Elmo, I, let me tell you something, Chico. If you got in the ring with me... We are in a ring. Hornswoggle's ring. I don't care. Listen, Chico, if you want to talk about wrestling, i beat your ass right now. Elmo says just bring it. Whoa there, guys. We're not going to fight. Elmo, let's be honest. You're going to get crushed by Antonio Cesaro. Plus, you're like a midget. What are you supposed to be then? Huh, you're right. I really shouldn't be talking. Let's get underway. Let's bring in our first guest at this time. He's from the corporate courtroom. He's the new world heavyweight champion. Give it up for Diesel. What? I can't hear you. Eh, Chico, let the guy do what we're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Antonio, I swear to God, you say one more remark and I'm going to kick you off of the show. Not even supposed to be on the show. Elmo says you're drunk. Who's drunk? You. Me? No, me, Chico. You both are. Whatever. Diesel, I called you here. Diesel, you can come on the ring, you know. No, I prefer to be like all the other normal guys, just like John Cena, and just chill out around here where we can actually stand. Well, I got to ask you a couple questions, Diesel. What, you little yellow leopard? <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, Elmo must need his diaper changed. Elmo took a crap. That's disgusting. Elmo says it happens. Whatever. Anyways, what do you want to talk about, Hornswoggle? I really want to leave. I, I just want to ask you, how, how do you feel on your big victory at beating Justin Gabriel for the World Heavyweight Championship? I mean, it's got to feel amazing to be the new World Heavyweight Champion, and then on Season 2, you're going to get to defend that world title against an anonymous wrestler, and uh, how great does that feel? Well, let me tell you something. No one is going to be easy to beat. I, well, first of all, what I just said is correct. No one is going to be easy to beat, because now I'm the World Heavyweight Champion, and i got a huge target on my back. Hey, Chico, you'll think I don't got a huge target on my back? Just because I got two titles. Okay, enough with their two title talk. No one cares. All right, I'm the world heavyweight champion. And you know what? Call out my opponent right now. What, what, what are you talking about? I know you have someone backstage for me. Let me fight him. Wait, wait, this is in the corporate courtroom. You're not going to be fighting him. I'll fight him, Chico. No, I want to fight someone good. Someone. Yes, 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 yes. Can you guys stop whispering? It isn't. It's not fair to everybody. You guys should be free and speak your minds out loud. Like Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We should be free to speak our mind. Oh, wait. No, wait. That's a different story. Never mind. Um, kids, don't listen to Elmo. Elmo is drunk. Why can't I stand up? There we go. I'm standing up now. Ahem. <clears throat> All right, guys, as you can see, I am the new WWF champion. Yes, yes, yes. I have two titles, just like Antonio Cesaro over there. I am proud. Hey, do you think you could just... 
Hornswoggle, I swear to God, you risk whisper at Elmo one more time. I'm sorry, guys. I just... You guys aren't supposed to be on the show. Are you kidding me? I know I'm supposed to be on the show. Well, yeah, well, Daniel Bryan... Well, actually, yeah, you guys are both supposed to be on the show. Ugh, let me get down to your height, Diesel. Oh, well, Elmo says he told you. Oh, shut up. Like you know anything about wrestling. You haven't even been on a match. Daniel can just stand up for once. There. So, Daniel Bryan, you think you can go one-on-one -on -one with me? Heck, you beat The Rock. You're lucky, but you're nothing compared to me. To me, you're just a little shrimp. Diesel, you say you're the greatest wrestler of all time. I am the greatest wrestler of all time. Look at this. I'm the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, you know what? I better tell you something. Y y you don't deserve the world title. What are you talking about? I, I won the match fair and square. No, you just got lucky. You, you were a coward. You know, before you made your return on that um, corporate courtroom episode for the gauntlet match for the world title, you, you you were medically cleared way before that. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. You were afraid of Woody. But now, because Super AJR 12, see, see, you faint on me. Faint on me, just like that. And I might faint too. I'm just tired because your stories begin to bore me. Hey, Chico, I like this guy. So anyways, like I said, you were afraid of Woody, and then you came back because Super AJ-12 put him in the hospital, and that was your fear, Woody, because you knew no one could beat Woody, and Woody was by far one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and that's why he should definitely come back, but right now, he's recovering from a neck injury, maybe he'll return shortly, who knows. But you are a coward, and you took it all out, well, you know, CM Punk was basically the only challenge for you, but now CM Punk is of course out with an injury like every other superstar, because of that corporate courtroom episode that when uh, Super Azure 12 was here and everybody got injured, I don't know what your problem is, Diesel, but you gotta start talking to me right now. You think you're the best in the world by doing that? Well, you're not, and you think winning that world title proves that you're great? Not at all. You waited for the weakest guy to join in so you could bully him. You took on Justin Gabriel, and you knew that you could destroy Justin Gabriel. Justin Gabriel was weak, and he didn't have anything compared to you, and that's why you jumped in, and you decided that you could beat him, and what'd you do? You hit him with one big jackknife, and you beat him. You weak coward. You go after the weakest man, just so you could win the world title. Justin Gabriel could have been a good champion if you gave him time, but no. You had to go straight after him, and beat him. And you aren't worthy of that world title. N n you know what? Just, just Get out of here. You know what? Just get out of here. You can't tell me what to do, Daniel Bryan. You may be a tag team champion, you may be a WWF champion, but you are nothing compared to me, the world heavyweight champion, Diesel. Well, wh where do you think you're going? I'm leaving because you make me sick. And no, Daniel, if you're thinking about having a fight with me, <laughs> heck no. No one deserves to be the greatest besides me. Look at me. I'm going to... For the love of God, if you whisper to him one more time, I will jackknife you right now through this ring right now, Hornswoggle. I swear to God. <sighs> Fine. Elmo says he told me a dirty story about your mother. I swear. What? He's getting in my mind. All you guys are getting in my mind. You know what? The heck with all of you. None of you are compared to me. I'm Big Daddy Cool Diesel. I'm Kevin Nash. I'm the inventor of the New World Order. And no one, no one has the balls to come up to me and say, I am the best. And get a shot of that eye. See that eye? That's the eye that killed Kung Fu Panda with one stare. And now I say to you, adios, my friends. Adios. Oh, so you're stepping up to the challenge? I swear to God. Oh my God. Oh, you guys are horrible. Hey, put them down before I jump into the ring. No, Daniel, don't risk it. I'm going to take this nice and easy. You see, Hornswoggle was bullied all his life by my older, older brother. My older, older brother, Steve Nash who became to be on a professional poker player, and he lost. But well, right now, I'm taking over the show. You can't do that. Someone stop him. Stop him, Antonio. No, this is very fun for me, Chico. I want to see. Well, I can't do it. I, I still got bruised ribs. So anyways, I think it's time that we get... No way. Chico, you're in trouble. Jake the Snake, what? He's back. Oh my God. Wait, are you the guy who's been sending all those return promos with the codes? No, I came here to fight you. 
Big Daddy Cool Diesel for the World Heavyweight Championship. You think you can talk smack about everybody? Well, have you gotten in the ring with me, Jake the Snake Roberts? Do I really have to listen to you? Do I really have to listen to you? You're an old legend. So are you. So what's the difference? I think I got an idea. Next time on The Corporate Courtroom, episode number four, it'll be fight night. Mm-hmm. You guys agree? Sure, why not? I'll beat him again. Yeah, yeah, this'll be interesting. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Jake the Snake versus Diesel. I like it. I'll be on my way then. Thanks to DDP for getting me back in shape. I mean, look at these biceps. I'll be back. Diesel, that world title's mine. Yes! 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 Good luck with that one, Diesel. Jake's gonna beat you and DDT your head straw so far into the ground, you're not gonna know what to do. Damn it. <laughs> well, I guess this concludes our episode of Hornswoggle's Ring. Hey, Chico, you know, it is fun and all with you and all that, but uh, this was actually a boring, boring episode if you think about it. Boring? What was boring about it? You really just yelled at people, Chico, and now you got a match next episode. It's Jake the Snake versus Diesel for the world title, Chico. This isn't the corporate courtroom. You gotta start being funny. But I am funny. Uh, Elmo, you can quit faking the injury now. Elmo says, thank God, that guy smelled like a dog's ass. Good for you. Well, I guess this is it for Montwago's ring for now, so tune in next time to see who Diesel, or who will win between Diesel and Jake the Snake Robert. <laughs>